Now that we've created a Google form, let's look at our sharing settings so that we can send it out to people. Now the main way to send it out to people is by going up here to send, and there are three different options Google currently gives us. One is by email addresses. If you've got an email list or want to type them in individually, you can do that and it will load from your contacts. If you want to create a link that people can use, you can click on it to copy it. You can just click on it there and it's copied. Or you can get a shorter version of the URL right there and copy that one. Or if you have a website, you can embed it on there and even have a little bit of say on how large it shows up in, uh, in your website. So those are the main ways to do that. This box is really important. It's in two spots. It's here or it's under our settings here and it's the first setting in both places. If you want to know um, which person gives each response, you need to put in something such as this, please list your name, or if you want um, the, to require them to put in their email address. Under settings, it's the first response, or, uh, first option right there, or um, under that send option, you can click it right there as well. And what that shows for people, if we click preview, we can take a look. Um, it means that they are going to have to put in their um, their email address. So let's uh, go ahead and save this. Uh, there we go. I just didn't click save last time. So if we refresh this page, now it starts with a requiring them to put their email address in. That little asterisk right there is for required. And I guess we, um, we could keep the name as well because some people's email addresses are a little difficult to understand. And so that is the way to send it out. Um, but the sharing settings are really important as well. So let's go through um, the sharing settings. And that's going to be, uh, let's see. Okay, the sharing settings are going to be found. Uh, scroll down to add collaborators right here. Okay, the two main things we're looking at are right here and right here. Private only you can access. Currently, no one else can access my form. By access, that means that they have editing power and can see this version beyond this version. If you want anyone else to be able to edit this or have access to add their own questions or change questions, then what we need to do is add collaborators. So we scroll down from the send button, add collaborators, and if you want anyone on the web, on the internet, to be able to access this and change it, then you can click that setting right there. Or if you want to just create a link that people, if you send that link to them, that they can create their own. Um, it's, it's modifying the current form. It's not creating a new one for them. They would have access to your answers and the ability to delete or create their own questions. So be very careful with that. Uh, so if you just want to keep it so that only you have it, have it on off. Otherwise, you could send it to a few trusted people there. And if you do, uh, they have edit privileges. Then if you want, this button is really helpful. If you want the people you send it to to not have um, the ability to add new people, I mean, if you send off a link, there's nothing that stops them from sending off the link as well to other people. And so this little button does prevent that so that the people you share it with cannot add new people. So that's a little trick that's really helpful for that. Hopefully this uh, gives you an idea of how you can keep it private or share it to just the people you want to and not let everyone in the world change your Google form and access its responses.